What's up people, welcome back and get ready for a Pawn Stars video, full of expensive items on Pawn Stars, let's hop into it. Number 1, Deep Dive. What a freaking deal, some of the Pawn Star managers are in a boat to go check out a massive sailboat in Lake Tahoe, this sounds amazing, to be honest, let's see. You think we can take a stop and uh, jump in maybe, do a little snorkeling? Uh, sh sure, yeah. I love snorkeling. Alright. What are you doing? This is my wetsuit, ready? <laughs> My boy Chum just went in with no care in the world. He is adventurous for sure, but it really doesn't show, right? Let's see where he's diving to. Chum, get your crazy ass back on the boat. Yeah, you got oh, it. You got it. My hands are so cold. That was freezing, Antoine. <laughs> Holy crap. I need to get some dry clothes on and head back and warm up before we talk about the negotiation. I can't even talk, I'm so cold. No wonder why, chum. No wonder why. This was all for nothing, yeah. I mean, you had your fun, but it's really time to get serious. Get to work. Would you do 34? Would you meet me par way, like at 45? Would you do 38? You know, considering you have to get it back to Vegas, I'd do 38. We got a deal then. We got a deal. All right. All right. See, Antoine, that's how you buy a boat. Got the boat. It's beautiful. I can't wait to enjoy it with Rick. He can be my first mate, but he's gonna have to take that up with Antoine. Nice and quick deal. A smooth one too. But like, damn, it's a fair price. I did not expect this from Chum at all. The adventure begins now. You have to tow it and store it and everything else like that. And in the end, I will lose money. Oh, no, you're gonna okay? make money like this. Okay. You are supposed to be a manager. You handle this. Just take that cone, move it over there, and when he leaves, just put it back, all right? Yeah, he's talking the to you. The boat's gotta go somewhere. I know, just put it right here. All right. Meet me halfway, look. This is what help looks like. Wait, I thought Chum is a manager, but turns out he isn't. Yeah, makes sense. He acts all bossy when he literally has a boss himself. Number two, ancient ceramic. A guy walks in with a really rare and one-of-a-kind bowl. This can literally be worth a fortune. So let's find out what exactly it is, and most importantly, how much. Um, I think it's really cool. I mean, um, Asian ceramics have always sort of fascinated yeah. me. I'd never really got into them a lot, but, um, they're the ones who invented this stuff. Uh, well, there's no chips in it, I can tell you that. No, there isn't. Okay, I'm not gonna drop it. So, you're looking to sell it, I assume? Yes, yeah. How much are you asking? Uh, I'm asking 6,000. Wait, really? Man just asked for $6,000. While I'm here thinking this could actually be around $1,000. Well, maybe both of us are wrong. If you don't mind, I'd like to have a friend come down. He's an expert in Asian antiquities. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him a call, I'll be right back, all, all right? right? very good. <laughs> This is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of Chinese ceramic. I'm gonna say museum quality for what I've seen. I lived in Asia for seven years, studying the art, the architecture, and the artifacts from an anthropological point of view. Well, he really does dress weirdly, but like, why? Anyway, that's really wholesome. I mean, living his life to the fullest, but Kimon Man help us out. Okay, so I'm going to say a good, solid wholesale price on it would be $3,000. Okay. Well, thanks, man. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. I am absolutely amazed that there is a bowl like that floating around. Well, you heard it, people. This is not Qian Lung. This is Chia Chin. But this man really made the story interesting with his voice. Yeah, I have a thing for voices. Don't judge. I'll tell you what, I'll go 38, and I'm probably crazy for doing it. Okay, I'll take the 38. Okay, cool. I really appreciate it. 3,800 is pretty close to the 4,000. <laughs> I am smiling because I can buy another piece. I love this man's smile so much, so wholesome. And by the way, $3,800 is actually a good deal. I mean, it was 800 above the average price. Number three, hockey stick. Okay, stick that's weirdly so little, but it is signed by the 19A Miracle on Ice team. To be honest, this really rare, since the team signed it. And they kicked the Russians' asses. It was one of the greatest upsets of all time. This was the game of the century. I don't know who designated it as a Miracle on Ice, but that's what it was. You know, what they did was a miracle, and a lot of experts say that it was uh, the greatest moment in American sporting history. I know a ton of collectors who would think this thing is absolutely priceless. I fear Rick and his connections. He really knows a lot of people and people of all kinds for sure. Anyways, this really is something that collectors do, Rick. So, Rick is right in this one. And what are we looking to do with it? Uh, I'm looking to sell it if the price is right. I mean, the problem is there's only one of them that exists. It's probably not something to compare it to, and it's really difficult coming up with a price that way. I got a buddy. He knows about autographs. He can tell us if they're all legit. Let me get him down here. I'm not concerned about the expert coming to take a look at the stick to authenticate it. I'm positive it's 100% authentic. And here comes yet another expert. Don't 
Don't forget, people. The price the guy had in mind is $5,000. Is she gonna get it? Personally, I don't think so. It's like bringing back history, you know? It's not like a single signature where you've had very little evidence to go by. There's all kinds of evidence, and this thing is absolutely authentic. All right. Thanks, Drew. You bet. All right, You're the man. I appreciate it. Take care. You bet, It's amazing. Value-wise, this thing can be worth thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. The guy was right and reasonable. That's a surprise. But well, you heard him, guys. It's authentic for sure. It's just sports memorabilia is just like the stock market goes up and down in value. Mm -hmm. And this particular point in history right now, it's down. Um, Wait a minute. How about 4,500? I mean, don't you believe in miracles? I'll go like two grand on it. There's a four and we got a deal. No, no. <laughs> Not only no, hell no. <laughs> Thank Thanks. You. Have a good one, man. Thank, Thank you. you. This stick means too much to me. I've, I've had it for so long, and there's such a story and history with it. Here you got it, guys. No deal. I mean, I agree with the guy. The history of it itself costs a ton of money. So what if it's signed by everyone? Good on you for keeping it, man. Number four, Disney compilation. Everything related to Disney is an automatic yes for anyone to be honest. So I'm sure there are a lot of people ready to buy that shit. Anyway, let's check it out. I'll give you 350 No, I, I don't think so. I think I paid three times that. Okay. Okay. Good luck to you. I thank you for your time. Okay, and keep in touch with me because I get a lot of Disney stuff in here if you collect the stuff. Yeah, thank you. All right, have a good one, man. So I think the offer of 350 I think he had to go with what his expert told him, but I think his feeling was a little bit drier than my passion for it. That was a no deal. I just wish he could have bought it. I mean, this guy is really passionate about it. I get it's rare, but I'm sure he won't find anything near the price he has in mind. She can't prove that these come from Disney World from Italy. So we gotta go with what we've got. They appear to be in good condition. There's no scratches or chips on them. I'd be comfortable buying them at about $250. I'm figuring they're worth $30 to $40 a piece anyhow. Well, that sounds reasonable. See, Chama, that's the way you work it. Now, you want to go do paperwork with this nice lady? It really is a fair deal, for sure. I would kill to have that collection, to be honest. It's a damn good one, for sure. And then also, in theaters, they'd use them. If they had a Mickey Mouse cartoon or something, they were made of paper mache, the world's most delicate material. And there are very few made and very few survived. It's gonna to be tough to like get these for a really great price from Bernie because he knows that I know He's the only one in the world with these we have the old Donald Duck with a giant long bill long bill Donald That's right. I love the original Donald Duck like love love him personally I would buy it so I'm hoping they strike a deal and we see it in the store I mean they're amazing. They really are and uh, can we meet in the middle that would be 3250 wouldn't it? Yeah Congratulations, you made yourself a hell of a buy <sighs> I'm absolutely giddy these are probably one of the coolest things I've ever bought. This is gonna be one of those things that I hang in my shop that people for years will come down just to look at these. Let's go look at some other stuff. All right. <laughs> this definitely was a very reasonable price. I love how both of them are trying to play it smart. Business really is an art, a talent that's God-given. Number five, classic car. A guy walks in trying to sell a classic car he owns. Looks like the old man is very interested even before seeing the car. He just knows he'll love any classic one. Caps, that's rare. Yes. This thing is all original, uh, except for a few components in the uh, engine area. Okay. Really. Now that's some technology right there. <laughs> Straight A. So what's this thing put out? Like 98 horsepower or I something think, like that? I think it's 125 or something like Okay. That. Oh, yeah. This Hudson's pure class. This is from the day when a car was a piece of art. Yep, the old man really is pissed about these new cars that are coming out every day. And I personally agree. This one is just so fascinating. It's worth a lot for sure. They sell at auction for, I've seen recently, 57,000, etc. You know, I, I deal in a lot of cars, but the um, car market is weird. I mean, it, it's easy to get burned. Yep. Do you mind if I have someone come down here and take a look at it? That would um, be absolutely fine. OK, I'll be right back. OK, thank you. I love everything about this car, but there might be just that one little thing I don't know about, and I'm on the hook for a ton of money. Here we go. Looks like they are bringing in another weird-dressed freak and just spit out his expertise. Let's take a look if it's worth that much or not. Really in nice shape, so I don't think he would have any problems flipping this if he can get it. So what do you think it's worth? I think in her present condition, which, which I would say is really, really nice, I would safely put this car at a solid 25 grand. And that is 10K less, my man, 10K less. I think this guy will kind of feel it's somewhat a loss, so oopee. Anyway, the best of luck on the sale, because it's not looking that good. Hudson's don't come around a lot, especially in this great condition. Now, how much do you want for this thing? Well, I guess I'm thinking 25. <laughs> Can I give you 20 grand for it? 
You got a deal. All right, 20 grand. You should have said 18, Rick. You got to be kidding me. I bought the car, 10,500. We settled on 20,000, and I'm absolutely happy with that. Well, that very surprising and unexpected. I mean, this man really one hell of an understanding man for sure. He was willing to lower the price. Nice one. Congratulations to the old man. Number six, Civil War. A guy walks in wanting to sell a rifle, but what kind of rifle is it? And is it worth a lot? Personally, I'm curious to know more about this. I hope you are too. Longer barrel made them much more accurate, so at 200 yards, they they were deadly. If everything checks out with this thing, this gun was used in the Civil War. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, the, the powder burns right here are telling me it's old. Everything looks legit on it. This right here is where they kept the patches. You'd pour gunpowder down it, uh -huh. and you'd put a patch down it, sort of seal the gunpowder in there, and then you would put a ball down, and you don't, you know. This gun is real, and from the Civil War, it could be worth a ton. Man, Rick is really impressive. Like, seriously, how do you about all that shit? I would never go up to him to make a deal. I'll be trembling for sure. Ape. I have my doubts on this rod. See, it's how it's completely different. It's not finished or anything else like that. It looks like a replacement. So did you want to sell this? Yeah, I will, okay. absolutely. Before I make an offer on it, I want an expert to come in here. I want him to tell me all about it. I want him to tell me if it'll fire. So I'll call my buddy in and we'll see what we can do. Great, thank you. Okay. No, I love Rick and all, but why does he need to bring someone in the store when he knows a lot about the product already? But like, okay. So uh, what do you think it's worth? As is, I'm gonna say retail 1,800 to maybe even 2,800, just under 3,000. Okay. You know, it's a nice original gun. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, pleasure meeting you. It's just amazing to me that these things are still hidden away, that people just have not found everything, which actually gives me hope that this stuff is still out there. Its price is really impressive, for sure. I mean, even the guy that brought it himself was heavily surprised by how much this is worth. I'm breaking, and then I'm into it even more. How about 14? We make it, just call it quits. Okay, 1,400 bucks. Perfect. All right. Great, I appreciate it. 1,400 bucks is a good price, for sure. I just know Rick is gonna enjoy this one for sure. Good luck fixing it though. Number seven, flying machine. A Leonardo da Vinci. Flying machine, now that's rare. Like actually rare. I'm very much intrigued at the moment, not gonna lie. We're in early 1450s, but back then people didn't know much about him. Up until the 1800s, he was just considered an artist, but he was just a man of so many different talents. I mean, he was really, really beyond his time. He was talking about gravity 200 years before Sir Isaac Newton. So the general public never got to see this stuff. If he only published everything he wrote back then, would probably be a lot more advanced right now. I just love how Rick is talking all about this machine's history, as if he brought it in to sell it. Rick, my man, let the guy talk and make him sell it. Think in a business way. Mm, I'm really impressed with the quality of it. I mean, there, there's some issues. There's a, a lot of restoration work that has to be done. As far as being in a museum, could have been. That's what I was told. Okay, let me have a museum guy look at it real quick. If you don't mind, if you can hang out. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to fly a plane, much less this thing. Here we go again with the whole expert thing, but oh, well, I think it's better that way. But what is up with this guy? He's being really honest. It's business, dude. A model or something like that? Huh. I, I just don't know. It's possible there's no way to say for sure without some sort of paperwork with it. And normally, if this was part of a museum collection, it would have a museum number on it. I don't see any sign of an accession number. So my guess is if it was in a museum, it was just what we would call a prop. Good. Thanks, man. You're All the right. best. Now, this is some real history, Rick. Take some notes. I mean, you said enough. So why bring an expert in the first place? But never mind, you do need it. I am buying myself a credible headache. That's all I'm buying here, okay? I'll give you 800 bucks for it, and then I gotta restore it, and hopefully he only charges me like $1,000, and doesn't come along and say it's gonna be 5,000, and then therefore it's just trash. So I am gambling at 800 bucks. Yeah, I'll take 800. All right, sweet. Um, I have an ornithopter. Uh, just cruise over to the pawn counter over there, um, get your ID, we'll do some paperwork, and I'll get you paid. All right. I guarantee you I'm the first person on my block with an ornithopter. Yeah, Rick, you are. But that was a smart sale for sure. Going down to $800 is really good for you. So Emma just say, that's a win for sure.